that's my homemade cleaning spray. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that with lipstick on my teeth, okay. Hi, <laughs> um, this is a new kind of thing for my channel. I normally don't focus on this side of my life, but I'm gonna start because I love cleaning. So I'm gonna introduce these short little videos every now and then, maybe every week, we'll see, uh, of just home cleaning tips. So today I'm going to make a cleaning spray that I use and I'm gonna show you lots of different ways you can use it. I'm starting with a glass spray bottle. I just got it online and it's very straightforward. I can't remember exactly how much it holds, but this is more than enough for what we're gonna make. I've just got this tiny little funnel actually from ice molds, but <laughs> it's the only funnel I have. Keep forgetting to buy one. This spray is so, so, so simple to make. Three ingredients only, and they're all very readily accessible. So we're starting with some malt vinegar. So um, there is a type of vinegar that's specific to cleaning, but it's a slightly different strength. So I just use the one that you get in the grocery store. Um, it's just regular, regular vinegar to put on your food. I use vinegar for so many different things around the home. It is such an underrated ingredient. It doesn't get the attention it deserves because there's all these big flashy cleaners out there, but there's so many of those that have problems in so many different ways, either environmentally or um, animal cruelty or even purely telling you that they do a thing that they straight up don't. So vinegar is something you're gonna wanna have in the house. So this is actually like a ridiculously simple recipe. It is um, pretty much just equal parts vinegar and water. So I've just measured out some vinegar there in my measuring jug. Pop that into my bottle. And then I just put in the exact same amount of water. You could dilute this down a little bit more if you're very vinegar averse. Um, I know a lot of people aren't big fans of vinegar. I will say the smell doesn't linger, so don't worry about that. But if you did want to do like even a two to one ratio, that's totally fine too. It might just not evaporate as quickly off your surfaces. So you might just need to buff it a little bit more or go back over it with like a rag or a paper towel or something. And the final ingredient is essential oils. So you can use a blend, you can use just one particular one, whatever tickles your fancy is good. Ones that come up a lot in these recipes for their cleaning and disinfecting properties would be eucalyptus oil, lemon oil, and lavender oil. So just whatever takes your fancy, whatever kind of smell you like yourself. Um, they're all great for, say, repelling insects. If you find you have an issue with any particular type of insect, the great thing to do is to Google what scent they don't like. A lot of them will be deterred by those three scents we just talked about, but you might find some other ones, especially if those ones aren't particularly your taste. Um, you'll find maybe like peppermint comes up a bit, tea tree oil. Look into your options, see what you like, and then play around if you want to blend. But um, I'm just gonna keep it simple today. I might use lemon, because I haven't used lemon for this in a while. So there's a lot of recipes that have kind of slightly varying amounts of how much you put in, but I'm just gonna freehand it and just throw a few dollops in, I guess. You'll see anything from like five drops to 20 drops to 30 drops. So it'll obviously all come down to the quantity of like the main liquids as well that you're using. And you can smell your essential oil and not just the vinegar. You're good. You don't want it to be overpowering though because you don't want like a huge mess of essential oils that you can't <laughs> clean up very easily. And it just cancels out the effectiveness of the vinegar. So get your lid on, give it a real good mix around. Grab yourself a nice cloth. Um, a lot of places suggest a microfiber cloth, but I actually don't find they're very good at buffing anything that's kind of liquid. Um, I find they just kind of move liquid around. So I use one of these like old fashioned type of dusters. You could use like an old towel or a t-shirt or whatever that you might have cut up into rags, that works really well as well. But I think something that has a little bit of an absorbency to it is gonna give you the best 
shine. So let's go see where we can use this. For anybody who's still a little bit concerned about using vinegar around the home, is your house gonna stink of vinegar? No, it's not. It does evaporate. It's not going to leave a bad smell. But what you might wanna do while you're cleaning, if you wanna just crack open a window just to kind of help disperse the smell a little quicker, you know, if you really don't like it. Um, and again, pick an essential oil that you really like. You can dilute it that tiny bit more if you want, um, but it definitely doesn't leave a vinegar stink around the place. Quite the opposite, in fact. It's actually a really, really effective cleaner. So first place I'm gonna put this to use is actually right here on my kitchen window, um, because you'll probably notice your kitchen window tends to get some like splashes on it through cooking and cleaning and everything like that. So this is a really great way to just give it a bit of a spot clean. Um, obviously you can, you know, clean your whole windows, but if you've just got a few little patches of dirt, this is a great solution for it. You're also gonna be able to use this in the bathroom. Have you got a filthy bathroom mirror like this? <laughs> gonna have to find my style with these videos a bit, I think. I have maybe staged this to look a little bit dirtier than usual, just to highlight how effective this spray is. <laughs> so we all get little splashes on our bathroom mirrors. It will get a bit foggy at first. And then you just buff it off. The first time I started using the spray, I was absolutely shook. Are people still saying shook or am I aging myself? It actually makes everything look properly clean where there's all those sprays in the shops for windows and glass and mirrors. What they have been found to do is to actually create a film over your mirror and the dust gets trapped underneath that and so the more spray you put on the thicker that layer is and you can clean and clean and clean, but it's never going to look fully clean. Where <laughs> when I first started using this vinegar spray, I was absolutely amazed. If you look kind of dead on the side of it, it's spotless. I know that short videos really work for me because I feel like I just talk too much. I start off not knowing what to say at all and then I just overcompensate by babbling. This is a double-sided mirror, by the way, so that's what I'm doing. Come up close and see. Look at the shine. And then on the inside as well. It is so clean. I'm obsessed, I love it. Ta-da. Another place in the bathroom that this is great is on your taps, if they're stainless steel. I would say if you've cleaned your mirrors, you don't even need to add any extra product, just use what's on the rag to begin with. But if you just wanna touch up your taps in between big cleaning jobs and get all those watermarks off, little soap splashes and everything. Oh my God, I burned my thumb with my straighteners this morning and now it is so sore. So, you know, be careful, like vinegar is an acid, so if you have any wounds on your hand, just be careful. <laughs> so like, look at that quick difference. You know, if you were getting surprise visitors and you knew you had like five minutes to make your house look real good, this is such a quick way to do that. I mean, obviously there's nothing wrong with it. Like these are, these are plumbing accessories, so they are gonna get wet and water can leave marks behind it. That's totally fine. But you know, if you wanna just jazz things up a little bit and just give those like a little buff. Even if you wanted to do this every day, this is something you could totally do every day just to keep the place looking really shiny. 
do it here as well on the little on the plug thingy and you can do it up here on the bit that holds the shower head and just like instantly so much shinier also don't forget to do your shower curtain rail if you're somebody who has a shower curtain clean that rail you don't have to do it every week, but do it every once in a while. If you're fancy and you don't have a shower curtain, you have like the glass screen, also clean it with this. You know, do your like big deep bathroom clean once a week or whatever, but you know, if you feel you need to touch this up, vinegar and a rag, amazing. And there is one more place in the bathroom that I always feel like is the real tell <laughs> for how deeply cleaned your bathroom is, is things like the toilet roll holder. So if you have a stainless steel toilet roll holder, clean it with this. It's gonna look amazing. I think a lot of people forget that they need to dust them, but like toilet paper, when you tear it, it spreads little bits of dust. And the longer you go without cleaning it, the thicker that layer is and the more dusty it looks and it's gross. And we don't want that. So same with the taps and stuff, I just, We'll use whatever's left on the rag high and just give it a buff. I say mine is right next to my shower. So I'll get little bits of water spray on them and then there's obviously the dust as well. So this is just gonna bring it up very nicely. I'll try to not pull it out of the wall. In around there. And you might be thinking, hey, your toilet roll is going to be on there. It's not like anyone's going to see this. But let me tell you something. That is not <laughs> how I do things at all. I will clean every surface because you never know. Plus, like, you know, people are going to see this part. They're going to see the bits on the side. So clean the whole thing. Why not? My towel rail is the matching piece to the toilet roll holder, so again, I'm going to clean that up too. Just a bit of a polish with whatever is already in the rag. If you've done a couple of mirrors or a couple of bits of windows, there's going to be plenty in here still. Save yourself extra work, save yourself the waste, and just use whatever's left over in here. Especially for somewhere small like this as well, it's going to make your job so much easier. You're not going to have to buff it nearly as much. It's just going to be a quicker job. Demonstrating this on my kitchen window didn't really work out, so I'm going to show you here where I've got a couple of splashes on my bathroom window. So again, just a little spray. And voila! So the last thing I want to show you is tabletops. So if you have any glass tabletops in your house, like your kitchen table or a coffee table or even a TV unit, don't forget those. I think especially for your dining table because, I don't know about you, but I feel like we might be inclined to wipe it down with the dishcloth when we're doing the dishes and that tends to just leave streaks of water. So, um, best thing to do is to actually just use the vinegar spray even a couple of times a week just to keep on top of those streaks obviously you know we might not be able to whip this out and do this job like every day that's fine and yeah, there's just no way i can do those videos that's like all b-roll and voiceover and just be like oh look at me clean no we gotta chat i need to chat <laughs> i'm also still using patio furniture don't judge me. <laughs> yes, I've lived in this house for over a year now, but um, tables are expensive. <laughs> so, you know, we're doing our best. This one's on loan from a relative who doesn't need it back anytime soon. I think that's the thing that, like, you don't really realize until you're in it about home ownership, but there are so many things that you have to get. Uh, sometimes you need to, like, prioritize. Do we need a couch or... Do we need a table that's not patio furniture? I feel like, you know, the couch is a bigger priority there. Look at that shine. Oh my God, I really hope this is coming up on camera because wow. Especially because this table is black. It really shows up dust and stuff like that. So 
It's always so satisfying to get that beautiful shine on it. And last but by no means least, I have this lovely little end table I got from Marks and Spencers that also shows up the dust so easily because it's glass. And also because, like, to be honest, we use this a lot. I'm a devil for eating on the couch. <laughs> Hence why we have this throw on it now because that couch does not look on the year old. That couch looks like it's been through the wars. <laughs> So uh, I actually eat food off of this, not directly off the table, but like there are beverages, there are snacks, there are sometimes meals eaten off this table. This table gets a lot of wear. For a table this size, I usually, again, wouldn't add any extra product, especially if I've done quite a bit of the house by now. This is well coated. Now you do wanna be careful if there's any sort of mixed materials. Um, that, you know, say for example, this table here, this is just metal, that's probably fine. There are certain things that might not take to the vinegar solution. So just make sure that you are being very careful to keep it to the glass or if at all possible to pop the glass out and clean that separately. It's actually a great thing to do with tables like this anyway, because dust gets in underneath the glass. Just try and touch the glass itself as little as possible with your hands. Like try to see, you know, get a good enough grip that you're not going to drop it or anything. But um, I kind of just use like the inside of my fingers there. So instead of like grabbing it with my fingertips and leaving big old fingerprints on it, just use sort of like that part of my hand to just hang on to it. And then use the, the duster itself to lift it and place it gently back on the table. And that's us done. Um, there's obviously loads more ways that you could use that kind of thing, but these are definitely the everyday general cleaning kind of things. And so many more uses for vinegar. Oh my God, it's a dream ingredient. You should definitely grab a bottle. You can buy huge, big, like five liter bottles of them for cleaning. I have no idea where I'd put one of those. So unfortunately I have to keep buying just the small grocery store bottles, but great thing to have under your sink to whip out for all of the wonderful uses. So thanks for watching and I hope your home can be a little bit shinier now. That sounded judgmental. Didn't mean it like that. If you learned something new or you just love cleaning like me, thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't and join me here on the channel. I'm kind of random, but I think we always have fun. Leave me a comment below if you're gonna try this technique, if it's new to you, I'd love to hear if it works out, if you're impressed. And that's all for now, so bye. Let's do that again then. This time without lipstick on my teeth. I'm just gonna give it like, oh wait, no, I should have filmed that, shouldn't I? This is why I put off doing these. Does it look like I'm miming? <laughs> oh my God, does it look like there's nothing there and I'm just like cleaning air?